Hi children, how are you? Hope you're all doing good, right? Oh, fine. Okay children, shall we start the session with prayer? Right. So close your eyes, join your hands and listen to me. Asatoma asat gamaya Tamasoma jodir gamaya Mrit Yoma Mirdam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Fine children, now take a deep breath, breathe out slowly, once again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fine, children. Now open your eyes slowly. Very good. Fine. You had made a great job. Thank you. So, shall we start our session? Okay, children. Okay, come on. What did we discuss in previous sessions, children? About nervous system. Right. So, what is nervous system? Nervous system comprises of brain, spinal cord, nerves and sense organs in which the messages can be transferred to each and every part of the body to do some action. Among these, brain plays an important role. Right. Then we saw about parts of nervous system they are central nervous system and peripheral nervous system central nervous system comprises of brain and spinal cord whereas peripheral nervous system comprises of sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves right in that we saw about central nervous system that is we are now we are seeing about brain Brain is the important organ of central nervous system. It is termed as control tower as it controls all the activities of our body. It is located inside the bony skull which protects the brain from injury. It works from day to night. Right? Then the main parts of brain are cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla oblongata. Okay, in last class, we discussed about this picture now, based on the images pasted in the portion of the brain, we have to judge the functions of that part, right? You all said that the cerebrum part does the work of thinking and the cerebellum part does the work of controlling the muscle movement. And the medulla oblongata part does the function of maintaining breath, constant breath and heart rate. And spinal cord is responsible for passing messages to all parts of body, right? So, we saw about cerebrum which splits into two hemispheres that is left, side, left hemisphere and right hemisphere. Left part controls the right side of the body, whereas right part controls the left side of the body. The main functions of cerebrum are, it controls speech, learning, memory, intelligence, reasoning, decision making and imagination. Right? Up to this we saw in previous session, right? So now we are going to see about cerebellum. Okay. Cerebellum is the smallest portion. It is the rear part of the brain. That is the end. Rear in sense end. Which is present at the end of the brain. See in the picture it is described. It is, it is posed as blue color. Okay. Which impresses as blue color. Right. That is the cerebellum part of the brain. Could you clear? It is located under the cerebrum and the main function are coordinates, muscle movements and maintain balance. Okay. 
to maintain the body balance and in order to coordinate the muscle movements cerebellum is useful it controls these functions okay it is responsible for these functions of the body and is located under the cerebrum okay then coming to medulla oblongata it is like the stem okay it looks like the stem and it is at the lower part of the brain see in the picture how the medulla oblongata looks like right it connects cerebrum and cerebellum to the spinal cord okay it is the intermediate that is medulla oblongata connects cerebrum cerebrum and cerebellum of the brain to the spinal cord okay it is the called as it is termed as vital knot since it connects the spinal cord with the cerebrum and cerebellum it is termed as vital knot that is important part okay and it is responsible for breathing heart rate and other involuntary muscles okay these are the main functions of medulla oblongata okay children could you clear very good so these are about the functions of brain and now we are going to see about some interesting facts about brain right okay brain is the most powerful organ children okay it is most powerful than a supercomputer could you ever imagine about supercomputer how it fast and how it can store the data it is most powerful than that could you ever imagine how a brain works it is most work faster than a supercomputer memory could you ever believe right so and the another point has it has no receptors pain receptors remaining part of our body in remaining part of our body if the injury takes place suddenly we suffer from lot of pain no we started to shout because of that pain right likewise in the pain there is in the brain there is no pain receptors if an injury takes place it doesn't we cannot uh, have that much pain as of other part of the body right so the brain has no pain receptors okay so that it doesn't feel any pain right so our brain consumes constitute 2% of our body weight in our body weight 2% will be constituted by brain weight only 2% will be constituted with brain okay and the remaining will be the constituted by other organs of the body could you clear and coming to the next thing in consuming the energy okay in consuming the energy and oxygen 20% will be utilized by your brain itself remaining 80% only utilized for our body could you clear about that in our body consuming energy and oxygen in order to do some actions right in that 20% will be utilized for brain itself see how it will works so that when it is very faster than powerful than supercomputer right 20% of energy and oxygen will be utilized for brain activity and the remaining 80% only utilized by a parts of our body okay could you so interested no could you clear about these facts it is so interesting right fine so now coming to the class work part right so take your workbook page number 14 and note on the answer right first question state true or false that b question respiration in our body is controlled by the cerebellum in the brain is the statement is true children whether respiration is controlled by cerebellum or medulla oblongata yes it is controlled by medulla oblongata so the statement is false right coming to the c question the cerebrum helps us to memorize things yes it is for thinking 
purpose and memorizing right so this statement is true okay so now take the page number 19 that is mcq part okay you have to answer for this first question the brain spinal cord and the nerves together constitute the nervous system right and the second question dash controls all the functions of our body yes that is brain and the third question dash is the part of brain which is responsible for circulation of blood in the body that is medulla oblongata since it is responsible for heart rate it is responsible for circulation of blood also right so the answer is medulla oblongata okay then the fourth question is dash is the part of our brain which maintains the posture and body balance which part controls the body balance children yes that is cerebellum very good okay children do you all note on the answers for these questions right now coming to the homework part okay in your workbook page number 15 and the question number 5 okay draw a well labeled diagram for the following you have to draw a diagram of a brain and how to label the parts as cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla oblongata. Could you clear about the homework? Very good. So, do this and upload your work in Google Classroom app. Okay? Till then, stay connected and stay safe. Bye!